So why, so you, you mentioned the difference in the United States where there's more venture money here in the United States um, as opposed to in the UK where it's not as active or in other parts of the world where it's not as active. Why do you think companies in the US wait so long to go public? Um, well, I think there, there, are, there are positives, which is the amount, the amount of venture capital money available means that you don't have to go public if you don't, if you don't need to. And also, VCs bring a lot of expertise. The networks that you can leverage, you know, that's, that can be put as a very positive thing. But as a founder, you want to have at least have an alternative. And actually, as a VC, you want to have routes to liquidity at an early stage. Sooner or later, there has to be a liquidity event if you're a VC. It has to hide, either be a secondary sale of some kind. I mean, that can be a full l and or just selling secondary stock or an IPO. There needs to be some way of realizing cash return. Um, and that's something that we can offer through the public markets. Now, why, why are the other reasons why companies aren't going public? Well, I think, you know, I think one of the kind of unintended consequence of the Jobs Act was it raised the limit and, and the number of shareholders you could have before you actually became an SEC registrant. And that actually, companies thought, well, actually, no, I don't have this pressure mm. actually to go public. But I think the other reason is the cost of being public in the US is just astronomical compared to most other markets in the world. 